My talk was all about um, sustainability packaging and legislation, particularly relating to sort of carbon and net zero. Um, and the reason it's really important is it's, it's a really hot topic for you know all uh, sort of players in the market right now, you know, including the producers of packaging, the buyers of packaging, the users of packaging, um, and you know, it's a space that's moving incredibly, incredibly quickly. Uh, the regulations are emerging thick and fast in all different markets, and particularly when you're dealing with very global organisations like the ones who come along to events like Europac. Um, they have to adapt very quickly to a lot of these things that are emerging and they've got a lot of competing demands from different markets, different regulations coming to place. And so, um, you know, it's really important for them to have a space to come together and hear about these kinds of developments, understand what the impacts are on them, but also a bit of the drivers that are coming out from the regulators and the policymakers themselves so they can get a clear sense of the direction of travel so they're not just prepared for you know, what's coming out in the next six to 12 months, but actually they have a longer term sight and vision of the likely direction of travel. I think it's been uh, an absolutely fantastic program um, and the, you know, the, the speakers come from, you know, they are experts in their domains and we've heard from sort of every element of the, of the supply chain really, sort of, we've heard from the buyers, we've heard from the producers, we've heard from the procurement teams, we've heard from the sustainability teams and um, sustainability has definitely come through as I think is a really strong theme this year in harmony with a lot of the wider global disruptions, the, the ever-present drive for cost efficiencies, um, and also a lot about resilience in supply chains, where a lot of the disruptions that came from the pandemic, um, that came from supply chain disruptions uh, you know, in the last few years, um, you know, producers and buyers are both looking for that confidence of supply, um, but also wanting to have that real long-term view to understand that a lot of the sustainable packaging innovation that they're driving at the moment is really about investing in making sure that they're able to have a resilient uh, approach that is future-proofed, not just for the next six months, but the next year, three years, five years, ten years, um, that they can continually evolve and meet the needs of consumers.